Hey folks, Tom Vassell here. Welcome back to Essen 2017. We're doing walkthroughs of the different halls and today we're walking through Hall 3. Now Hall 3 is easily the biggest hall. It's the hall where the main entrance is and it is the hall where you will find the biggest German companies. And so there's a lot of different booths here. We're actually at the back of the hall and this is before the convention starts because otherwise this is easily the most crowded hall that there is here. So right now we're walking by Plan B Games. You can see their mega setups for flick them up. Then straight ahead we have the giant portal booth. Now portal, you can see, if you look closely in the middle, there's the Ignasi with an army of volunteers. Their big hit of the convention is alien artifacts. Definitely a lot going on there. Over here, we have the Korean Pavilion. Um, several Korean publishers working together and publishing lots of different games, showing them off a lot of fun stuff here. So we're still walking by the portal booth. Then we have a small company here called Moses, which is carrying some games. And then one of the biggest publishers at the convention Pegasus Spiel. And they have so many things working. Huh, that unicorn actually looks like he's barfing up a cookie. Over here is La La Palette. On this side, we have Hasbro. Hasbro, of course, being one of the biggest publishers in the world. And um, that's a little creepy. Then Zock. You can also see Queen on the other side of the aisle. But Zock here, of course, pushing. Let's see, we've got the escape room here. Virtual reality. I, I, I guess it's part of Zoc. Zoc has a lot of cool games here for sure. Then we have Ravensburger. Now Ravensburger doesn't actually sell games at the convention. They're one of the few companies that does not. They just show them off at their booth. Um, along with new things that they have. And then you can buy them at some of the stores here if you want to. Over here we have Game Factory. This is a German one. You can see they carry some things like Class and Match Madness. If you've ever wanted to juggle, Henry's professional juggling equipment is what you're looking for. Morning. A backish spiel here. Pushing number nine, of course, is their big thing. And the new Zularetto. So over here we have Jumbo. Jumbo carries a lot of the more um, mainstream games in Germany. And we have uh, Gigamic here. Gigamic is pretty small in America, actually, compared to the way they are here. They have a lot of big wooden abstract games. Spiel, which is, if you remember, has been bought by Plan B Games. Their big thing here is Heaven and Ale and ReWorld. Over here, we have Hook. Um, their games are carried by several different publishers. The Ganges game is going to be uh, published by r, &R Games. To the side of me over here, we have Hans and Gluck, who has all sorts of Carcassonne style stuff. You can see there, different Carcassonne, well there's more than that, but there's so many Carcassonne promos. <laughs> it's just crazy how many there are at this point in time. People talk about all the expansions for Carcassonne. 
and they forget that there's more than just those expansions. There's, uh, there's just so much involved in that game. There's promos. I don't think anyone has all, everything Carcassonne. Ah, I take that back. There's probably someone. Then we have over here, Cosmos. Cosmos, of course, their big thing is the uh, Kenner, Kenner Spiel, the exit games. And you can see over here, we'll take a look in a second. You can see over here just how many there are, all the new ones. You can buy them in German and in English. Uh, and this is the one time of the day you will see this bathroom not have a line out the door. Cosmos, of course, pushing Imhotep and, as always, some form of Catan. We're at the very front of the hall at this point in time. This is where, when you come in, this is what you will see. You'll see these big things. You'll see the Asmodee again here. And let's see if the crowds were already forming. They are. These people are here quite early. You can see outside the door there. That's the main crowd ready to come in. And it is at least half hour before they open the doors. So people are willing to wait to get games they want. This is actually, I'm recording this on Sunday, which is a busy day. So straight ahead of us now, we have the Repos booth. Now Repos has two big things. One is When I Dream, which is a very big thing. Oh, by the way, we can stop here. And this is the, the uh, a shop where you can buy all sorts of uh, products. I believe these are Asmodee's things. So you can see Pandemic Legacy. You'll see a lot of games you're like, I didn't know that was Asmodee. But Asmodee distributes a lot of different things in Germany. Anyway, back to Repos. When I Dream is one of their big things. To the point where they have a bed on display here. And they have a pe person walking around super sleepy. Over here is Mattel. Carrying their games, of course. A lot of kids games, but they have more than that these days. Anyway, Repos over here. The other big thing Repos is pushing is the Seven Wonders uh, that they have. So that's doing well. And Secrets. Here is a uh, Piatnik, I think is what they're called. They have blocks, they're pushing these blocks that they have in a lot of different kids games. Back to Gigamic. And then Matigo. Matigo is really pushing Meeple Circus, as well as they should, because it really is a great game. But it is really one of the games of the fair. Lots of people are playing it and talking about it in this arena here. Over here we have DV Jochi. And they're pushing Yogi, I think, or Minute. It's Minute Realms, not Minute Realms. A couple other small companies there. And then here is where you buy games from Haba. Haba has two areas to get games. This is one of them. Um, and then over here, you can see where they have a big giant rhino super battle. Carded Monday. These guys make games. They're actually a manufacturer rather than a, a publisher. So they're over here showing off some of the games that they make. And then here is the place where you can test the Haba games. You don't actually buy them here, but you can like rent them from a library. If you see over there in the corner, you'll see some games and you can just go there and pick the ones you want. And even more Haba. Oh! Even more Haba stuff here. This is their family game line. And you can see a lot of the stuff that they have here. Over... On this side, I don't really know this company here, but it looks like they make a lot of little abstract games. That's interesting. Over here, we have Schmidt Spiel, which is a big company. They're pushing Stone Age. On this side, back of the Robin's Burger. Straight ahead here. You see Zock and Hasbro over here. You see Amigo. Now Amigo has a lot of big games, a lot of things going on. Um, high school and Holly Golly. 
Ice Cool is actually from. You can meet famous designers in Athens. Please come. Ice Cool is brain games, by the way, but they um, have more than that. Over here is the AEG booth. So they carry a lot of different games here. Their booth is actually smaller than it is in America, but then again, they are an American company. On this side is Pegasus Spiel. You can see the shop where you can buy all their games. Walking on the side, you also can see um, the Dream House. Over here is Zombies and Twilight Creations. And Friedman Fries' booth, 2F Games, which is totally impossible to miss because, as you notice, the screen is full of green. Over here is where you can see a bunch of authors will come. So you can look at the schedule, okay? If you wanna to come to the convention and meet someone, lots of designers will come and sign games at the convention. Now this booth is easy to tell because it is all yellow. While Freeman Fries owns green, yellow owns yellow. And their booth is one of the biggest booths here. So we're carrying a lot of games. You can see everyone's getting prepared. Again, they're gonna let people into the hall in about 20, 25 minutes. And straight ahead is Blue Orange Games. Uh, so you're walking, I mean, they're, of course, pushing a lot of stuff. This Panic uh, Mansion is one I'm pretty impressed with. So I'm hoping to get that one and play that one soon. Black Rock Games back here. Not as big a company in America, but you might you might know some of their games they have. Time Arena, of course, is one that they're pushing. More yellow stuff over here. And here we have over here the Stronghold booth which is trying to take over the color red. It's very, very color color uh, thing here. Of course, they have a lot of games. The expansion for Terraforming Mars being one of them. Um, but there's a lot of new games here from Stronghold. Very, very popular booth. Over here is Horrible Games. Their hot game of the fair is Dragon Castle, as well as it should be because Dragon Castle really is fantastic. And that's how you do a component drop. Back here is one of many restaurants at the convention. And also a business lounge, apparently. Oh, that's right, I remember you have to like have an exhibitor badge to go into this one. So, but it's a place like you can eat and have a meal. All right. Here's Indie Boards and Cards. On the side, they have a much bigger booth than they've had in the past. Showing off Aeon Zalem, Delve, and Path of Light and Darkness. Here's the Creativity Hub, where they're pushing Untold Adventures, which is um, uses the, the different dice it's from Story Cubes, Rory Story Cubes. Here's Frixillus. These guys, of course, are super popular now, having made Terraforming Mars, are the ones who license it to Stronghold Games. And you also see After the Virus, that's the game that they have here. Behind this thing is the Richard Reese's games with Keeper being one. Swinging onto this side over here. You see White Goblin games. Bali, Montana, Alibaba. A lot of stuff. Their booth not quite open yet. Um, Numbskull games straight ahead. Over here is Sweet Games. This is a new company. I actually know nothing about them. They have a cool looking game called Cedars Exodus, but I honestly don't know anything about it and Troll and so on and so forth. Over here is the business lounge. That's where if you have a meeting, you can go in there. There's a little garden in it too. It's really beautiful. Hello. Goliath, a kid's game company, mostly. Over here is What's Your Game? Euro Gamers Rejoice. Loot Island, Madeira, Asgard. Here's another manufacturer, Ludofact. These guys are one of the biggest ones making pieces for games and they show off all the games that they make. And on the other side, 
We have Ferdy making all their little wooden games. It's little. Uh, I mean, look at the, all the pitch card pieces you can get. Shows you which ones to get from which expansion. That's fantastic. And then right past them, we have Tactic. Their big game is Great Tour. You can see how many of those there are. But also Gold Armada, which is a Reiner Knizia game. Hopefully you'll be seeing reviews on them soon. Over here, there's Tief Tosh, which is a great game. A lot of different games over here. Grana, straight ahead. Grana is a, they make the CV game, Civilization. And they have a ship game, MS Batura, that's new. Then directly in front of me here is the office um, of the fair. So if you need to buy anything or pay anything, this is where you go. You know, if you need help, this is like the help booth. Okay, back over here. We've already seen Schmidt Spiel. Directly in front of me is like a store. Like if you went to Ravensburger Games, remember I mentioned that? That's where you would go to get them. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there's a few booths that you might not have seen completely. There's actually... It, let me slide around this corner here. You will see a giant Days of Wonder booth straight up ahead. So there's that. But that's pretty much it for this convention. Um, this, I mean, for Hall 3. But it definitely is the biggest hall of the lot. And you can see the booths here are stupendous. They're big. And so a lot of fun. Folks, thanks for watching this walkthrough of the longest hall here. Until next time, I'm Tom Bass. And you've been watching the Dice Tower coverage at Essen Spiel 2017.